Earlier this year, Oculus released its first ever standalone headset, the Oculus Go. But the Oculus Go was pretty limited in scope. It was based on a mobile operating system similar to the Gear VR. It also only had three degrees of freedom. At Oculus Connect 5, Oculus released its most powerful all-in-one standalone VR headset yet, the Oculus Quest. Previously called Project Santa Cruz, Oculus Quest is essentially a Rift-compatible headset without the need for a computer. So while the Oculus Go doesn't need a phone, the Oculus Quest doesn't need a PC to run. That means the Oculus Quest can run Rift-compatible games without a PC. Just like the Rift, the Oculus Quest has two touch controllers and six degrees of freedom. This means it can look behind doors and look around corners. As a standalone VR headset, the Oculus Quest has no wires and no external sensors, so you can play games without being encumbered by all of those extraneous hardware. The Oculus Quest is able to do all of this without a PC thanks to four motion control sensors, as well as something called Insight, which is a technology that powers the Quest inside-out tracking. It also has a computer vision algorithm that tracks its surrounding in real time and Oculus's well-known Guardian technology, which essentially gives you the artificial boundaries of a space so you don't go too far outside of a particular zone. The Quest has 1600 by 1440 resolution per eye, and it has spatial audio, so there's no need for headphones. Playing a game with the Oculus Quest headset on was a lot of fun, but I have to admit it was a little bit unnerving at times. It was definitely great to run around without any wires holding out by movements, but I also felt it was a little too freeing because I wasn't sure where I was going half the time. In super hot VR, I was punching bad guys and throwing ninja stars at them. And in dead and buried VR, I was gripped with a team of people in a simulated gunfight in the old corral. At the same time though, because there were no wires surrounding me, it was a lot more immersive as well. I really felt like I was shooting the bad guys. There's no need to worry about the content library as well. The Quest is set to launch with over 50 titles that include Robo Recall, The Climb, and even a new Star Wars VR title called Vader Immortal. On the whole, the Oculus Quest experience is on par with a Rift experience, which is great because you don't need a PC to use it. And it's only $400 for the 64 gigabyte version, which is much cheaper than the Rift as well as a PC. The Oculus Quest will be available in spring of 2019. Thank <laughs> you.